Good morning. In the last period, we have started the chapter number two, that is time varying electric field, and in that we have to study the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. First law we have to study, that is uh, Faraday's first law. Whenever there is change in magnetic flux associated in the coil, there is EMF is induced in that coil. This is the first law. Secondly, E is directly proportional to d phi by dt, and finally we have to say that E is equals to d phi by dt. But by the Lane's law. E is equals to minus d phi by dt that is negative sign is there opposes the change in magnetic flux and that is considered as what a Lane's law after that we are going to discuss what is the one more important form that is integral and differential form of Faraday's law so differential form of Faraday's law we have to study in this the article integral form and differential form of Faraday's law in that first of all we have to know that we know that phi is equals to We know that phi is equals to b bar dot a bar. This is the basic definition of a magnetic flux. We have to already know phi is equals to b bar dot a bar, where b is the magnetic induction and a is considered as what surface area. And for that, uh, differentiating this, what we have to get that. Therefore, differentiating d phi is equals to d phi is equals to what b into we have to consider say a bar k j k we have to use. ds bar or what you have to say that da bar b bar dot da bar this is the uh, equation we have now total flux when we have to consider the total flux at that time it can be integrate this equation and so we have to get that total flux is what phi is equals to integration of d phi integration over the surface s d phi is equals to integration over the surface s b bar dot d a bar this is the first equation we have to consider that is a total flux after that uh, we know that uh, that is flux can be determined here and now emf by definition EMF by definition we have to consider here that is E is equals to E is equals to integration of uh, over a closed loop C E bar dot DL bar E bar dot DL bar and it gets that E bar dot DL bar but E is equals to what E is equals to we have to consider here minus D phi by DT E is equals to minus D phi by DT and finally this can be written as minus d phi by dt is equals to integration of e bar dot dl bar and this is the second equation we have first we have to consider the emf is equals to integration of e bar dot dl bar but e is equals to minus d phi by dt and if we have to substitute this value minus d phi by dt is equals to integration line integration of a closed surface e bar dot dl bar this is the second equation and from equation 1 and 2 what we have to consider here that is this is considered as also integral form of faraday's law and but we have to consider from equation 1 and 2 uh, one is what we have here we have phi is nothing but what b bar dot d a bar and substitute this value that is minus of integration minus of d by dt that is phi is nothing but what line integration of e bar dot d l bar e bar dot d l bar is we have to consider here Line integration is we have to consider here in the left hand side that is line integration of e bar dot dl bar is equals to minus partial difference it here dou by dou t and phi is nothing but what we have that is surface integration of d bar dot d a bar 
This is, we have to consider the surface integration. This is integral form of Faraday's law. This is integral form of the Faraday's law. That is line integration of u bar dot dl bar is equals to minus of dou by dou t u bar dot da bar. This is considered as a equation number 3. Now take the d by dou by dou t inside what you have to get. Uh, finally we have to write that line integration of u bar dot dl bar is equals to a minus of surface integration of do d bar by do t do bar d bar by do t into n cap into d a bar n cap into d a this is the form we have to consider here now transform line integral into the surface integral this is what we have to consider that is a by using a stokes law we have to transfer uh, surface integral to line integral into surface integral now by using stokes law transform line integral to surface integral so it gets that line integration of e bar dot dl bar is equals to surface integration of curl of e bar surface integration of surface integration of curl of e bar into da bar curl of e bar into da bar uh, this is what we have to say that equation 4. Put in equation 4. So, put this value in equation 4. What you have to get that? That is line integration is nothing but what? Surface integration of curl of E bar into da bar is equals to minus of surface integration of dou b bar by dou t into n cap into da bar or what you have to say that n cap cannot be written we have to directly d bar da bar is cancelled now surface integration can be vanished with surface integration surface integration can be vanished with surface integration d a bar can be very sweet d a bar and finally it gets that that is curl of e therefore curl e is equals to minus of do b by do t do b by do t and this is considered as what a differential form of a Faraday's law curl of E is equals to minus dou B bar by D. Equation number what we have to say? Equation say 6. Sorry, 5. And this equation is this is the differential form of Faraday's law. This is therefore curl E equals to minus dou B by dou T. This is differential form of Faraday's law. Curl E is equal to dou B by dou T. First of all, we have to see here, uh, we have to starting from the uh, magnetic, definition of magnetic plus phi is equal to B bar dot A bar. D phi is equal to B bar dot D A bar. And total flux can be written as phi is equals to surface integration of d phi is equals to surface integration of b bar dot d a bar. Now by the definition of this uh, electromagnetic induction, 
that is e is equals to what line integration of e bar dot d bar and where e is considered as induced emf e bar is the electric field and from that if we know the second law of faraday's law that is induced emf is directly proportional to rate of change of magnetic flux that is e is equals to minus d phi by dt finally we have to write that d phi by dt is equals to line integration of e bar dot dl bar this is equation number 2 from equation 1 and 2 we have to write this equation number say 3 and this is considered as what a integral form of faraday's law of electromagnetic induction now minus of dou by dt taken inside the integration it gets dou b bar by dt into n cap into da or simply we have to write that da bar da bar by using the stokes theorem we know the stokes theorem what is the use of stokes theorem stokes theorems can be apply or use to transform line integration into the surface integration here in the left hand side we have a line integration this integration can be transformed into the surface integration we have to use the stokes theorem and by using the stokes theorem that is line integration of e bar dot dl bar is equals to what we have to say that curl of curl of e bar into da bar curl of e bar into da bar put this value in equation number 4 it get that surface integration of curl of e bar dot da bar is equals to minus of surface integration of db bar by dt into da bar now surface integration is vanish with the surface integration da can be vanish with the da and finally it gets that that is curl of e is equals to minus do b bar by do t this is the differential form of faraday's law of electromagnetic induction very important law many times question is may be asked on that this is for a uh, 5 to 5 to 10 marks we have lenz law consists of a conservation of energy lenz law is used for conservation of energy and faraday's experiment that is we have to consider a coil and a magnet that is n pole and s pole we have already discussed in the uh, 12th standard this is very important law that is called as a differential form of faraday's law of electromagnetic induction thank you write down all the things Thank <laughs> you.